I bet with Interbet only. They're a fantastic site. I've never had any issues with them. They are very professional. There's never a problem. You deposit money, two seconds later it's in your account. You withdraw, which I do very occasionally. And uh, I believe it's also two seconds it's in your account. Well, we're on to race number eight, which is the last race. It will jump at 1640. It's over 1200 meters. We do have a rerun of number 12, Shanta's Pride, as well as interviews with Michael Roberts and Peter Musket outside except temptation now master josh starts to move in master josh gonna take some beating at the 200 meter marker goes clear shanta's prides come out the pack running on nelson bay is on the inside but it's master josh the last hundred mr henley staying on but it's master josh to win nelson bay second mr henley and shanta's pride stayed on for that fourth position yes it's a pity because you know uh, you know she you know she's not a big filly and um, um, she likes Scottsville, uh, so you know we we got to take our chances again because you know you know they, uh, there's not a race for her for a while after this, uh, but I think she's still well. She, she looks good, and um, she's doing well. So you know we're expecting a, a big run from her as well. Yeah, we kept. She she got beaten her three first three runs, went very green and not really acting around the gravel turn. Uh, equipped her with blinkers for her fourth start which was at Marisburg and she won with a bit in hand and I think the form line has held up pretty pretty well. Kept the blinkers on her at her last start but she was just far too aggressive early on, uh, ran, her, ran herself into the ground basically but she stood, still did hit the line. Uh, we've removed the blinkers for Sunday's assignment and we're hoping to see an improved showing from her. Yeah she had fetlock surgery, uh, she's come back a bigger stronger more mature filly since then. Uh, obviously her comeback run was very encouraging from a deep draw. Rode her stone cold early because she was still a little bit big and carrying a little bit of excess condition. Uh, she did find traffic in the straight, uh, otherwise she probably would have run second in that run, in that race. Uh, however, uh, my only concern with her is second up syndrome uh, after an extended break. Uh, but she has tightened up very nicely. She's actually lost a full 10 kilos uh, since that last run. Her work this morning was uh, very pleasing. And if the second run syndrome doesn't come into effect with her, uh, she's going to be competitive on Sunday. Well, we've had a good look at those uh, reruns and listen to those comments, some positive comments there for number 12, Shanta's Pride. But I'm going to hand the mic over to Sheldon Peters and he's going to tell us more. That run was eye-catching, Sheldon. Yes, thanks very much, Devon. She'd obviously had a very long injury. She is named after myself, Sheldon, my sister, Angelique, and to Sita. And thanks very much to Hollywood Bets, Owen, Devon, Anthony Del Pesh. They give a couple of the guys out there an opportunity to name horses and to be part of the team. And Shanta's pride. She's been an exceptional filly for us. Although she's been played with problems, if you look at her earlier form, she displaced her dorsal displacement, dorsal displacement, severe respiratory noises. Then she had the surgery. That last run was an emerit rated 90. And I said, next time she runs, the way she quickened up, I said, we have our max on her. But obvious concern, back to Scottsville, she's only had one run there. She was below par on that occasion. Had it been Gravel, I would have been a lot more confident and third run after the rest. But the fact that she took on the boys, she was only about a three quarters of a length behind Mr. Henley. When she opened up at eight to one, I thought that was the wrong price. I thought she'd be more realistically around four to one. So Shanta's pride, second run after the rest. We're looking for a bold showing and Richard Furry, he's looking forward to riding her again and he certainly gets the best out of her. So we're hoping for the best. My dad Craig and my mom Lorraine, they'll be on course and hopefully leading in Shanta's pride and hopefully I can call her into the winner's enclosure. Devon? Yes, no, 100%. I'm in full agreement with you. I was very impressed uh, watching that rerun last night and going through the form. She, do she does have a massive chance here. I know it is a big field, so things can get tricky, but uh, you got Richard Furry in the saddle, and I'm sure you're going to get a big, big run for your money. So the narrow first selection is going to be number 12, Shanta's Pride, who represents some good value there. And for second, I'm going with number 14. 
that is Maggie Smith. I do believe a massive runner has been holding consistent form recently with Calvin Abib aboard. This is from the Wendy Whitehead Yard. And I also like a little bit of number nine, Shona Kirsty Hughes from the Michael Roberts Yard with Rachel Vinegar aboard. Rachel's been riding exceptionally well. And maybe we box these three horses for the exactors and we could get a good payout there, Sheldon. Yes, Devon is looking like that type of race where you could get a bit of a result here and there. The current favourite is number six, Pretty Victory, from the Gareth Van Zales stable. And the dogs were barking three months before she ran. I think she was scratched on two occasions. I think the meetings were changed or I'm not quite sure, but she was scratched on two occasions when the money flooded on her. She then came to the track and they said she was unbeatable. She managed to beat Mascarina and the form line is looking okay. And then last time out, she ran behind Pineapple Mint Green. The average rating was a 79. Penultimate run, they experimented over the 1600 meter trip. So number six, pretty victory for me. That's the horse that Shanta's Pride has to beat with the four kgs off for Brevin Plakies. So that'll be my second pick. And if you're looking for a real shrewdy, number four, Twinkle Little Star. I think dropping back to the sprint trip of 1200, don't discount this one's chances. Yeah, that could make all the, the difference there. The recent runs have been over 1,400 metres prior to that. has never been far off the action over the 1,200 metre trip. This is from the Yogis Governor Yard with Tristan Godden aboard, who's riding exceptionally well. So throw that into the equation. You heard from Sheldon, we have to respect the chances of number six, Pretty Victory, who's currently trading at around about 28 to 10. I know the Yard definitely rate this one very, very highly. And it's got the apprentice aboard, Brevin Plykes taking the four kilograms off the back. So we'll throw this individual right into the equation. So in terms of the pick six, I'm going to give you four numbers, 12, 14, 9, and 6. So that's the four numbers for me, Sheldon, for the pick six. Well, there you go. Those are the four numbers for Devon for the pick six. And as I mentioned, if you're looking to throw in one or two others, well, you did include number four, Twinkle Little Star. If you throw in number four, Twinkle Little Star, that could be the one to upset if there is going to be an upset. But in the eighth and final race, we're just looking for a big run from number 12, Shanta's Pride. It is a second run after a lengthy absence. If that doesn't come into play, and also the Scottsville circuit, she does seem better at Gravel. She's got the class to pull this off. Uh, my name's Danny Diliberto, founder of Ladles of Love. It was founded back in 2014. Communities we, we work with are all over the peninsula and um, we're working with 138 beneficiaries now. We've grown exponentially. Um, we've been able to do that because of all the kindness that we have experienced um, from individuals and corporates such as uh, Interbet who just want to be part of the change.